friends, Mrs. McD here. We are excited for your in-person return. Today, we're gonna to go over some expectations of what to expect when you're entering and exiting and moving through the building. First of all, we're always going to follow the Briarwood way, and that is being respectful, being responsible, and being a problem solver. So how are we responsible morning arrival? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is wear your mask and keep your mask on when you get on the bus or you're coming to school. When you get to school and you're on a bus, someone is going to come out to the bus and take your temperature. If you are cleared and have your attestation form done by your family, then you're gonna be cleared to enter the building and go on some red feet. You're gonna see a video about this in just a moment. If you are coming from a car, we are going to try and take your temperature in the car or before you get to the red feet. So you can enter and make sure your attestation form is done. Please again, always wearing a mask. You're gonna stay on the dots. In this case, you're gonna see little red feet. That shows you that you are six feet apart from another student. You're gonna stay six feet apart at all times and hands to yourself. The hallways. When you are on the hallways, again, you're going to always wear your mask. When you are in the hallway with your class, you're gonna to stay to the right of a blue line, which you'll just see in just a moment, which is tape on the ground. You're gonna stay six feet apart and you're gonna keep your hands to yourself. You can still do a little silent wave if you like um, around. When a class is passing, you're going to stay as far apart as possible and everyone will be keeping a distance of six feet. Please take a look at this video for more information and instructional video on how to stay apart and move through the hallways. These are the expectations in the hallway. You must wear your mask when you are in the hallway. You must stay six feet apart. No running in the hallway. Always be safe and kind. All right, when you're in the classroom, your teacher has a lot of expectations that he or she will be going over. It's important that you stay in your own space. You always wear a mask, you wash your hands or use hand sanitizer, and you only use your supplies. Sanitizing your hands before entering the classroom and exiting the classroom. Walk straight to your desk and maintain, meaning keep apart a six feet a distance between you and another student or your teacher. You're gonna put your backpack in your space that your teacher will instruct you where to put your materials and what you're responsible for. Use only your supplies, again. Any other supplies, you can raise your hand if you do not have them and ask your teacher for some guidance. When lining up, make sure you line up at with six feet distance and again, keeping your mask on. When you leave the classroom, you're going to sanitize your hands. Now, those are not all of the classroom expectations. You will have individual classroom expectations beyond that, but your teacher will go over that, or you can pause the video now to listen to your teacher explain that. All right, we're moving on to the restroom expectations. Using the restroom is a little bit different than before. So we're gonna take some time to go over that. And at the end of my discussion, we're going to have a video that shows students uh, and following the expectations. So first, just like before, you're gonna raise your hand and ask to use the restroom, or you're gonna show your classroom signal to use the bathroom. You're gonna san sanitize your hands before you leave the classroom. And you're gonna to go to the bathroom that is closest to your classroom. In that bathroom, you'll see two signs. Um, there are two students allowed in the bathroom at a time, separated the stall in the middle will be not available for use. If the two signs are in use and there are people that have are in the bathroom currently, you'll stand on the dots to wait to use the bathroom. 
Once the person is out of the restroom, they flip the sign, then you can use the bathroom by flipping the sign, going in to use the restroom, coming out, washing your hands for 30 seconds, and then flipping the sign again so others can use it. Make sure you're keeping your hands to yourself. You're maintaining a six um, foot difference between you and another person at all times. And you might see um, people around to help you. If you have any questions, make sure you talk to your teacher about this. Wash your hands always. You wanna keep them sanitized so we're not spreading germs. Take a moment to look at these kids following the expectations in the restroom. Be responsible at recess. Recess has changed a little bit. We're gonna talk a little bit through that and see some kids playing um, and talking about the expectations at recess. Before you come to recess, you're going to sanitize your hands or wash your hands. Teachers will take their students directly to the assigned zone. So there'll be five different colored zones that you will be able to play in. In your zone, that's where you are designated to play. You need to stay there with your class and use the materials in your bin only. Bins will be assigned by colors to each classroom. So make sure you watch out for your bin, your tools or recess um, equipment in that bin only, and then that bin will be sanitized. Stay in your assigned zone. If you are in the big toy, we'd love that you're playing. You want to take six feet apart and always be wearing your mask. Now, recess is a time that you can take off your mask outside, separated from other students. This is also a time that you can eat your snack and, again, stay socially distanced from others. There will be a snack trash that you want to throw that snack trash away before you go back to class or go to play. When the bell rings, you are going to go to your class, you're going to stand on the red feet, and you're going to stay six feet apart, keeping your mask on. You're going to look forward, have your body still in focus, not touching other people, and be ready for the signal of your teacher or adult. You're going to want to listen to all adult instructions to make sure that you're following our expectations. When the teacher tells you you can come in the hallway, or move forward to your classroom, please follow that expectation, maintaining a six feet distance between you and another student. And remember, don't be a litter bug. You wanna make sure all your trash is in the trash bin and your snack is completely other, either eaten up or thrown away. Please take a moment to look at these kids following the expectations at recess. You must keep your mask on. You must stay six feet apart. You put the toys back in the bin. All right. Our school day is almost over. When we're leaving school, it's important that we are responsible, respectful, and problem solvers. So you're going to wear your mask at all times. Again, whenever you're in the building, you're always going to wear your mask and stay six feet apart from others. You're going to stand on the dots or the red feet uh, waiting for your bus or for waiting for your car to pick you up. And you're gonna keep hands to yourself. You wanna use hand sanitizer before leaving the classroom or wash your hands. And then listen to your teacher for all expectations as expectations may change as you're leaving or rerouting. I know you're gonna have a great return in person. We look forward to see you. We want our school safe and working together as problem solvers, we can do this together. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for your time and enjoy your day.